Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're looking at the Psych Tor Bluetooth speaker. This is a little sound system you can take out and about, and it's really surprisingly cheap. I first saw this on their website when I was just browsing through, and um, then looked at the price, and holy moly, it's a cheap product for what you get included. So this is a 2.1 portable speaker. It's got the two speakers you can see on the front, as well as a plethora of options for connectivity. You've got three and a half millimeter jack, Bluetooth, SD card. You've also got USB for charging on there as well. And on the bottom, you've got the subwoofer as well to give you a nice bass kick. It also comes with a remote control as well, which is always handy, especially if you're out and about. Makes changing things over and changing tracks nice and easy. But it's got a very nice color theme with the black and red. It's also got a built-in radio as well with a small antenna in the top if you wanted to use that. This will make a really good kind of portable unit for working with, especially if you're kind of doing decorating or just, you know, general things in a room. Nice kind of size just to carry about and play either radio or have your music through. On the top, there's a little section you can sit your phone in as well, and it does fit up to a Note 3 as well. So it's very nice and spacious and will take the largest of phones. You also get five different equalizer settings built in, which is always good to have. Personally, I found the first one and the standard one to be the best, um, but there are different ones, including classic, pop, rock, and jazz. So in the box, you get the usual cables with Bluetooth devices, you've got a three and a half millimeter jack a usb to mini usb this is slightly different from what we generally see a micro one so just take note that it is a mini connection and also the remote control and instruction manual going over the remote control we've got lots of different settings on there for your radio stations also plus and minus volume eq settings previous next track play and pause and also changing modes and channels the top has our carry handle and also the little place to put your phone and dock it also holds the antenna as well if you want to use that now it can take a range of phones as i've mentioned this is the 5s also can take the Samsung Galaxy S5 as well and also my daily driver which is the Note 3. Now on the front we've got the two nicely black and red themed speakers and on the bottom holds the section for all our connectivity and options and then a nice bit of psych branding at the bottom. I do like that style and it definitely comes together nicely with this unit. There's the antenna on the top for the radio. The back houses the base reflex port as well for some air to escape from. And there is the subwoofer on the bottom. You've also got some nice rubber feet to stop vibration. So getting onto the controls, we've got previous, next track, play and pause, and also the mode built into the front. A small screen to tell you what mode you're on as well there is a bass control wheel which is always good to have if you want to play music late at night and then you've got your usb for charging your devices the mini usb in for charging and also the three and a half millimeter jack that automatically changes when it detects as well when you're charging it's got a little red led to indicate that as well now this is just using the remote control cycling through the modes works very well and there's the eq settings you've got zero one two three four five and six and also the volume control goes from zero to 32 and then of course you can set this on your own device as well so if you want to use it on the remote control or on your device you can do it to your own personal preference on how you want to control the volume there's the play and pause in action as well this product comes in at just under 30 pounds as well which you may think is ridiculously cheap and um, you do get a nice lot of features on it without a doubt but one thing I will mention is when you do start to go over the kind of halfway point it does start to distort sometimes um, this can obviously vary on what song you're playing and uh, where the music source is coming through where the music source is coming from but I generally stuck to the zero EQ setting as well to keep it all normal and um, the other ones I did find to be a bit either too bass heavy and then found distortion or the highs are a bit off um, but the zero eq worked pretty well and for the price you pay this is quite a good unit that you may want to have as a little thing in the corner of a room it does look nice on a table this would definitely be a nice gift for a younger technology fan for example somebody that's in their early teens or even younger than that it does look good and for this price it's a pretty good bargain so thank you for watching this video guys if you want any more information please look at the links down in the description box below but thank you for psych for sending this out for me to review and we'll see you all again in the next video